A lot of milk, butter, cream, and other dairy products are being purchased at grocery stores these days as holiday cooking moves into high gear. What better time than to take you back to a dairy farm on the Mississippi-Alabama state line that's been operated by the same family for several generations. In addition to producing milk, this farm is aggressively promoting the dairy industry and agriculture to a nationwide audience using social media and the internet. Layton introduces us to the Gilmer family. I don't think there's any dairy farms in downtown Manhattan or in Chicago or Los Angeles, so somebody has to let them know where their milk's coming from, and you know, it might as well be us. When it comes to using social media to tell agriculture's story, few people do it any better than Mississippi State alumnus and third-generation dairy farmer Will Gilmer. Using his smartphone, Gilmer may post over a half dozen messages a day on Twitter. All the cows have been milked and fed for the morning, he wrote on July 6th. After breakfast, we're going to sort and vaccinate young heifers. Since the messages originate from his smartphone, Gilmer may send them from the floor of the milking parlor, or from the cab of his tractor, or from anywhere else on the farm located near Sullivan, Alabama, across the state line from Aberdeen, Mississippi. The messages give followers a snapshot of farming on an everyday basis. What seems to work best, uh, or what i found has worked best for me to do to, to keep people's interest and attract people to listen to what I'm saying is just talk about what we're actually doing on the farm, kind of day in and day out, and just give them kind of an idea of what, what farming life is and, and, and what we do. Many times, Gilmer will take a picture like this with his smartphone and post it on Twitter. After two months with no calves, we're starting to have a few dry cows freshen, he tweeted with the photo. This cow gave birth to a bull today. Will Gilmer has over 2,700 people following him on Twitter, but this popular social media is only one of many ways Gilmer communicates about agriculture from the farm. Of course, he has a Facebook page up and running for the dairy, too. Over 1,800 people have clicked that they like something on the page. But long before Twitter and Facebook, Will Gilmer's very first communication effort was the Dairy Farm website. He developed and launched it almost 10 years ago, in 2003. Today, it includes an educational tool for children that Will Gilmer calls Adopt-A-Cow. Once you sign up online, an 8x10 photo of the cow you choose is emailed to you, along with a certificate of adoption. A child can then check the website monthly for updates on how the cow's milk production is going and whether it's had a calf. The website also features a photo of the current Milk Mustache Contest winner. That annual contest is always a feature of June Dairy Month. After the website was fine-tuned, Will Gilmer added another social media tool in 2007, the Dairyman's Blog. It was more or less just a way to have a news feature for our farm. We had a page on our website where I would update about once a month what had been happening, but it wasn't updated enough that people particularly cared to read it, so I thought, well, if I do a blog and do it more often, maybe we'll be able to reach more people, and it, uh, that worked, and everything else has just kind of spread from there. The Sunday, June 19th post on the blog was devoted to Father's Day. Will simply titled it, My Dad, a Farmer and a Family Man. Will has been farming with his father, David Gilmer, since graduating from college in 2001. In the summer of 2011, they had 163 cows in the milking herd, the lowest number in quite a while. The 600-acre farm has a total inventory of over 450 Holstein cows, heifers, and calves. Will's father, David Gilmer, is a second-generation dairyman and also a Mississippi State graduate. David doesn't actively use social media himself, but totally supports his son Will's efforts to communicate about agriculture. Somebody needs to tell our story because there's plenty of people out there ready to tell a story, but it may not be just exactly how it is. Will Gilmer added videos to his website in 2009 and began posting them on YouTube as well. His father has appeared with him in at least one segment of the MooTube Minute, as the videos are called. This episode is titled A Typical Day on Gilmer Dairy Farm and has received almost 1,400 views online. Other segments focus on vocabulary. This episode explained the term slurry to viewers. Other editions of the MooTube Minute simply deal with particular events on the farm. Hi, this is Will Gilmer with the Gilmer Dairy Farm MooTube Minute. 
Coming to you from our maternity pasture where Big Annie, number 232, has just given birth to a heifer calf about 10 minutes ago. I've always tried to be informative during them, but the first ones I really tried to be kind of wacky and a little bit out there because you have to do something different to get people to pay attention to you. And by doing that, I was able to start building a, you know, a group of people who, who would subscribe to the videos and watch them. And as, as that has grown, I've been able to get a little bit more serious and talk about the, you know, going more in depth about the things we're actually doing. And that's not to say I still don't do a few goofy ones now and then or sing or something like that. And I'm proud for Will to be able to kind of use these avenues to get our message out to, to that, hey, we're doing things as uh, efficiently as we can. We're trying to take care of the environment. We're taking care of our animals and uh, are just being good stewards of uh, what we've been given control over. Will Gilmer was chairman of the American Farm Bureau Federation Young Farmers and Ranchers Committee during 2010. He used that position to encourage other producers to follow his lead in getting the message out about agriculture using social media. He has no doubt that other young farmers around the country are more involved in communication now and that consumers are picking up on the messages and responding. We, we do get a lot of uh, feedback from people that are in agriculture that ask us about some of, the, some of the things we're doing on the farm. But we're also getting comments from people who live in cities and urban centers who don't have a dairy farm anywhere around them or any kind of agriculture really. So, so it's a great way for us to connect with those people. You know, the way I look at it, you know, me and my dad, you know, and other farmers in this area have a responsibility to talk to people in our area, in our community, about the things we're doing. But there's, you know, places in this country where there are not farmers available and they need to hear about agriculture too. So we also have that responsibility to talk to them. From out in the country, social media is enabling dairy farmer Will Gilmer to successfully convey his important message around the nation. From Sullivan, Alabama, I'm Leighton Spann reporting.